Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to get the best quality um, out of any capture device that works with your USB computer. So um, you'll need Virtual Dub and Sony Vegas. So in Virtual Dub, go to the file and capture API. And it should show the picture of whatever you did. Yeah. So um, go to device. And pick the capture device you're using. Um, mine's a Roxio, but it's actually a CBRK. So mine's the USB to wait for a DVD. Go to video and select your video source to serial digital. That's for um, YRB, YRYBY HD. Um, go to capture pin and select and make sure the quality is all up to 1 and press in while you want to apply and press OK now in your capture filter um, you can mess around with, the, with these uh, I personally did not NTSCM is fine press OK crossbar um, that's not really necessary for me. Levels. Make sure your saturation is all the way up to 63. Q as well to 126. Contrast. Not too high. Up to 50 to 55. And brightness right in the middle. Sharpness. I like to put it in 3. It gives a nice picture. But not too sharp. Um, Go to cropping and you can crop the unnecessary right here. But I personally I just edit that out in Sony Vegas. So you don't really have to do anything with these right here. And then compression, you just do the no recompression, that's why the file looks so HD. And to audio I recommend do not play audio, do not turn on audio playback. Um, that's it, you don't have to mess up with, mess with these and just change, just select off to the game that can be audio as well, or whatever you're using. Now in capture, uh, go up to settings and Yeah, I should not have to mess with these settings. So we'll just do some, we'll just do it, we'll just do a test capture. For this specific video. Now we can close out the virtual dub and we can now edit the video in Sony Vegas. So um, I'll be back with you shortly. So we're here in Sony Vegas. Um, mine is Sony Vegas Pro. This should work with older versions. So go up to File and Import Media and get your file you just recorded. Mine is YT. Now drag that file to the editing board and make sure um, go click this button over here, Event Pan Crop button. Click that and make sure maintain aspect ratio is no. That's the fill frame or that that stays yes. Um, So here's where you can edit your video. Um, so you want to want to go here and go to Sony Color Curves. Press Add and press OK. Now you make your video or make this line in an S shape. This really depends on how bright and how good you really want your video. You want your video to look. 
So let's take a look at the quick S. Okay, very slight. That this makes the video just you can just play around with these video with the settings, and it really depends on what what's the content of the video. So to go go ahead and highlight the whole video. And here is my render settings. Render as. Here is my custom custom template. It's based from the WMV6 MBPS HD 720-32 video. So. And here it's include audio, CBR, um, this is all, this, this is all default. In video, make sure it's in high definition, 1280 by 720, um, 1.00 square, 29.970, which is basically 30 frames a second. Make, make, make sure the video smoothness is 200, and check override default compression. The bitrate, give it to internet land. Um, don't, don't message these and press best and just press OK and just render your file. Okay, the rendering has completed and let's see our finished product. You can see it's 16 by 9, it fits the whole screen. It's very nice quality. It's coming from a Roxio game capture, the non HD version. It's um, 1280 by 720p. Looks really nice. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And remember to fill around with the settings, like in Sony Vegas. Um, depending on how dark your video is or how hard gray, you can just edit it there. And just make sure, just make it like an S shape, and you should get the best looking video. So, yeah, thanks for watching.